But okay, yeah, because you like it, it's interesting to see you now. Because when I'm reading about you and everything, it's saying that you, at, at certain points in your life you dealt with a shitload of anxiety and you could barely yeah. leave the house and stuff. But there was yeah. like a drug situation yeah, that kind of yeah. led to that, right? Yeah, yeah. I was 19 years old, so I remember my mom. As I said before, she was tough with me, and I'm not allowed to go party with my friends or whatever but i already i i, I always did this shit, you know and uh -huh. i then i always got top you know like kick <laughs> or punch that's one thing about the russians is that they sure do love to party yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah yeah and i always yeah. want to party and hang out with my friends do stupid shit, you know and then uh i start to uh, smoke weed and do some drugs and my mom realized that and she brought me to a um, psychologist i believe and a doctor who work with the drug addict people right mm -hmm. and he asked me like face to face what is going on why you do this shit? and i was like man i don't know <laughs> you know <laughs> and then i just realized ah this is because my mom like uh not uh like allow me anything you know like uh, you stay at home you do your f***ing homework or whatever you know you work and i said to him and he said okay i will talk i will speak with your mom and after that he spoke with my mom after that uh, my mom changed a lot and mm. she she started to be very soft with me you know she started to say okay if you want to go hang out with your friends and all the shit and i go f hard i go f***ing with the drugs and all this stuff you know and i was 19 years old and we used uh, like f***ing all of this shit like lsd heroin in you know uh spice a lot of spice you know what is that like <laughs> yeah, Chinese yeah, yeah. poison <laughs> yeah. and it's just like a a spice you have to mix it with this with something you know uh -huh. but we we took the cigarette and we smoke this white thing like concentrate you know and it's 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 up you know already right and i have o overdose and i almost died because my heart started to beat like very fast with the pulse and stuff for five hours and i was laying down and i cannot stand up i i cannot even open my mouth you know i was like okay this is it like i'm done you thought you were gonna die yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and after that uh thanks god i'm not like that <laughs> but after that uh, i changed my lifestyle a lot because i believe i start to like um take this information from the from the i don't know from the god you can say it uh, like you can call it whatever like universe god or whatever uh i i uh, start to like uh, take this information about myself about this world about this life what is it who i am what i supposed to do why i'm here you know how it works all these uh, life mechanics works and all this shit. and i start to read about esoteric philosophy and all this mathematic stuff you know mm -hmm. i start to learn about this shit, and i realize all these small details like everything inside of you everything outside of you all of this shit build up by the small, small, small details. So if you want to change yourself, you start with the small details, step by step, you know? Mm. And I start to change myself. But anyway, I had this like recovering time from like, for, it, it took me, I believe eight years to, just to like feel okay, you know? Because after that I have panic attacks, very strong anxiety. Uh, but you took that you took the 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 time that you were kind of like not comfortable going out in public and that's when you started to do YouTube Dude, I'm like uh, I was sitting at home and uh, once I go outside to the public I immediately I immediately want to shit you know like I'm gonna shit myself right now because of anxiety <laughs> and all this shit you know yeah, yeah. and my nerve system fucked up and it was like for year eight years like eight years and one time i was like i don't even understand where i am because you know this anxiety is so strong and panic attack so strong so yeah and my blood pressure goes up and everything you know that's crazy because your parents were super strict before that but like how did they feel about you having this experience and then staying in the house for so long afterwards so i never 
told them about oh, this really? situation and start to hide uh, uh, like all of this shit. And uh, I never speak with my mom, of course, about like, hey, I'm overdose. <laughs> 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 because, you know, but right now it's okay. Right now she knows, I believe. And your, your mom's an angel, actually. Yeah, she's like right a very, she's sweet very sweet woman. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my mom. I, I don't blame my mom or parents or whatever because they just, you never know how to raise your kids, mm. right? And and they just uh, want all the best for me, you know? Mm. So. Yeah, because, okay, but how did you actually learn how to like do these insane vocals and everything? Because that's the one thing that stands out to me as like super different about the metal world these days versus when I was young is that I remember going to see these metal bands when I was like 12, 13 years old. Uh -huh. And it's like, I remember going to see Cradle of Filth and just being Hot, like terrified of what I was watching because they were playing guitar so fast, the craziest screaming vocals. But at that time, we didn't even have YouTube. There was no way that I could figure out like how to play that, how to play music like that, or how these dudes did their vocals like that. And now, when I'm just watching you guys' content on YouTube, it's like suggesting me videos in the sidebar, like how to do insane, brutal metal vocals or whatever. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh shit! So that's kind of like being spelled out for people out there if they want to figure this shit out whereas for me as a kid it was just like just the yeah. most baffling thing on earth so how did you actually get into it so it, it was very easy actually because uh back in the days as i said before i had no internet and even if, if i have internet it was local you know local forums local in whatever you know we play counter strike <laughs> and just that's it you know we don't have in social medias and stuff right russian but, uh notorious for like kind of <laughs> banning people from like mainstream social media yeah, platforms yeah. right and i was young i i didn't know about social medias if if, if it exists i didn't know about that you know but anyway i just uh, i had my like cd player with me and uh i just uh record the cd with the songs i like i put them in cd player play and just uh start to like uh try to make this sound exactly this sound how it uh vocalist does you know mm. and it took me in ages like it took me probably five years just to like get this lows then i start to practice with the addictions and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i'm still learning you know i'm doing this for 15 years already right yeah i feel like it's the kind of thing though if you just start trying to do it that you're just gonna do it wrong because you're gonna in, oh, like, I did it wrong. I, did okay. it wrong. <laughs> I, I never read about this shit, and all of information, if it exists, it uh, exists on English. You know, I right. didn't know English, and I just learning by myself, by mistakes, and all this stuff. But I really believe you. If you want to achieve something, you don't need actually a teacher. Teacher uh, will help you to achieve this faster. You mm -hmm. know, without any issues, maybe problems and mistakes. But if you really want to. You can do it by yourself, anything you want. Mm. Just like by mistakes and stuff. 